Hey there everyone, Silly Cat 2 here. Welcome back for more La Mulata. In the last episode, we did stuff, and in this episode, we are going to do more stuff. But, as you can see, first of all, I have gotten stuff. I have the whip, and the buckler thing, and the MSX2, and the hand scanner. And I picked up a couple more ROMs on the way. The Glyph Reader and the Ruins Ram 8K. These will come in handy in the ruins, maybe sometime. Anyway. Stupid bird. Bird knocked me off the ladder, man. I mean, come on. What's up with that? So we're just, like, going in the ruins and stuff. And hey there, log on guy. And back into the guidance gate of gates and thingy and now we have the glyph reader we can actually scan these things this is where the mother sleeps the path of trials where only heroes that do not fear death may enter do you fear death mr. skeleton guy I do not fear death unless I'm about to die and then maybe I might fear death a little bit because you know I'm about to die Anyway, we got some more weights there, and oops, I forgot to get something at the shop, I think. Yeah, you know what I forgot to get? I forgot to get that. It's the waterproof case, because you know we're going to be going in the water later in the game and stuff. And hey there, birdie. Can I take your picture with my whip? Thank you. There's more birds. And hey there, pot. You know, like, when I'm in IRC and stuff, I like to say I run a lot, but instead I say I earn a lot because, you know, I press U and R in the wrong order and it makes runs instead of earns, or earns instead of runs, rather. You know, it's kind of a stupid thing, and people say I fail for that. Do I fail for that, Mr. Pot? No, I don't think hey so. Hey there, past Silicat 2. So this is I future Silicat 2. You do fail. So hi. Anyway, now we have the glyph for you. We can, like, do stuff like this. This is the garden scape. A place to defy... A place to god those who would defile this tomb to their deaths. I do not want to defile this tomb to my death. Do you, Mr. Skeleton? I don't think so. Anyway, there's a thing here, and the kangaroo rats are bouncing all over the place. Offer three sacrifices to the heavens. Okay, I don't have three sacrifices, do I? Nope. Chuck Tasker. Anyway, we gotta wait here. And there's more tablets thing, and do not strike this or you will get struck with lightning and stuff. And it is painful. This is a holy place, do not defile it carelessly. He who ignores this one will be struck down by divine retribution. Well, why didn't you tell me that sooner, Mr. Tablet, before, you know, I whipped the stone block in the middle of the thing there? What's this? That is a thing. That I cannot read. Courageous one, take power. If thou desirest power, prove thy courage. What is this, The Legend of Zelda with all that power and courage nonsense and stuff? I mean, come on! Does this look like Zelda to you? Well, then again, Mr. Lambiza dude is wearing green, so yeah. And whoops, I just whipped stuff again and fell in the spikes and- OMG, they're like fake spikes! That is hilarious! Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> Got the shuriken! It's a shuriken, dude. It's like shuriken. Sure you Only it sounds completely different. And as you can see, we do not have shurikens at all because we have not picked any up shurikens. Picked any up shurikens? Who do you think you are, silly cat too? And things you know of that nature. And there are weights and shurikens in the pots in some places, like right here. You can get ten of these right off the bat. Did I show off what the Grail does yet? Yes. It does that. It teleports you to the Waypoint Tablet, assuming you've already scanned them and stuff. We already know past Silly Cat 2. You explained it in the last <coughs> episode. Remember, like, right after you got the Grail, stupid. Anyway. We're, like, going to scan this thing here. The Sad Tale of the Giants. Their history is recorded therein. Oh, 
Fishy, I wonder what their history could be. Maybe we'd like find something out at this at some point in the game. I sure hope so, because a game without a plot is, you know, like a game without a plot. Or Silly Cat 2 trying to imitate Rao Cow. I mean, come on, what is that? Anyway, we've done stuff, and now we are going to do more stuff, and I am going to get my butt kicked by a bat. And things like that, and it's pretty great. In a temple of the sun, a new trap fills a hole and conceals a trigger. Well, I haven't seen any temple to the sun yet, so I don't know what it could be talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. That is the worst Bill Cosby voice I have ever heard. Shut up. Anyway, there are things here, and I am going to die, aren't I? So, uh, F2, 0, F3, get the game master and go save my game. And we go to F5, continue, and... <laughs> And you know, we are like right back here with full health, and it's pretty great. And anyway, now what we are going to do is we are going to open up a shortcut of sorts, because climbing up this ladder the whole time and dodging Castlevania birds is like falling out of nowhere into the screen below you. And it gets a little annoying after a while. Rule number one of recording past Deadly Cat 2 is that you never shut up during recording. It is like against the LP law or something. I don't know. And here we are back in the ruins and I completely forgot to open up the shortcut because I cannot play video games for the life of me. No, he can't. Anyway, you're like, sure can this wall here and it opens up a secret passage. Dude, who do you and think you like are? Nintendo Capri Sun? Only he can yeah. do that, dude. Anyway, we got the life drew up here, so like, why am I still up here? I'm getting a coin, of course. For reasons yet unexplained. My throat kind of hurts now. <laughs> Stuff is like spiraling out of control as we do things of this nature. And then we are going to get some shurikens and some more weights and then some more shurikens. And then we'll be ready to take on the rest of this dungeon maybe. If so I hear. Cause like there's things here, you know? There's things that we get and then we get stuff and then there's things. And there's puzzles to be solved. Few things satisfy like the puzzle solved. You know what I'm saying, Mr. Bug Dude? Dude, you're shutting up again. Dude, say something. Come on past Silly Cat 2. Dude. So yeah, we got like 90 coins and it's almost triple what we have in weight because you know, 3 coins are worth of weight and so forth. And we are like totally going up here and I want to read that. What does it say? Anyway, I also have yet to show what the Ruins Round 8K does. If you have a map in a certain place, it does that and shows you a stupid map of this stupid place. And it doesn't work very well. Yay, Donks guard huge souls. Hold aloft the red glowing on tools. The guardians will test thee. And it shows a guy holding up a jewel in front of the Ankh, and a big two-headed snake thing comes out. That can't possibly be a hint or anything later on in the game. Anyway, we like put a weight there, and then we like jump across, and we put a weight here, and we jump across. And we like put away here since the stone block thing disappeared and that totally solved the puzzle and I have no idea where the puzzle solved is. But we can go up here and stuff and it's pretty great and there is a ROM here for Hyper Rally. Have you ever heard of Hyper Rally, Mr. Bat? Have you? Huh? Huh? I was careless. Every place that looks like it has something good always has a trap. Yeah, well, it's a trap, you know? It's kind of like a llama llama. 
Oh wait, that's this game. <laughs> and I just fell in this stupid trap again, and I'm an idiot. Gee, past silly cat too. You just recognize that? I mean, come on! <coughs> I mean, really? You leave like thirty sections. 30 second sections of the thing blank and it's like, come on, people want to listen to you. They're not here to watch or play the game or wait, maybe they so are. So anyway, I do not believe we have fallen down here yet, or maybe we have and I'm just being stupid. Anyway, I think what we want to do is we want to kill all the bad guys and do stuff like that and then kill the bad guys and then that solves another puzzle. Yes, it does. And then we have like a third block here that was not here last time when we went to get the grail. So let's like solve a block puzzle here. You see that blue brown thing? The not the blue brown thing, the gray thing down there. That cracked stone tile like thing, that is a block trigger, you know like flag 66 and DC. Or Z C rather. DC? What? Anyway. I have like the things here because this statue is pretty great. He can bounce blocks on his forehead like there's no tomorrow. And I can whip skeletons from the ladder using the whip that reaches back and above my head. And it's pretty great because that's the only thing that can hit above my, above my head at the moment until I get another awesome weapon later on in the game. <coughs> oh, excuse me, princess. What's this? Pour the memories of this land into the grail. Chant this place's number to the grail and thou shalt return. Well, I've already explained that, so I don't see a reason to explain it further. Do you? Oh look, a ladder. I wonder where that could lead. Does it lead maybe to the boss room? Does it? Does it? Find out next time. I know I'm not gonna do that. No! Hey, it does lead to the boss room, but we don't have an UGH oh, jewel, so there's no real point in doing that. Collection EX. It's too bad. I want to know what on um, what games are on that collection, but I guess we will never find out because you know it was collected by Konami and stuff, and they had the copyright and stuff. And you know, it's a stupid thing. It's like you know, if companies aren't going to release the games they make, why are they bother making the games, you know? It's like people in 20 years are never going to have heard of this game because they can't buy it and stuff, and the only way to get it is to get it off the internet. It's a stupid thing. That's beside the Don't point that this Mr. game is freeware and opinions. hopefully always going to be available on the internet. And here we have, like, another broken tablet that... Our water. He who climbs at a water will get to it. And I think we want to take a uh, pictograph of this place. I will do that with my Windows S. And I will just kind of casually do that. And open up OneNote and take a screenshot like that so I can save it for later and possibly put the pieces together like an old jigsaw puzzle. Do you ever heard of jigsaw puzzles, Mr. Skeleton? No, you have advice for me. Steal the sword! Steal the shield! Crush the helmet! Crush the armor! Is this some sort of military theory? I won't get it! Well, what is there not to get? You, like, break the sword and shield and the helmet and the armor and stuff, and it's like, you know, it's pretty great. 
course, if you're playing a game like Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, you want to just steal all of it instead of crushing some of it, because, you know, that stuff can be pretty useful, especially when you're doing a thieves run thing of the thing. And what did that do? That solved the puzzle for me, and I have no idea where the puzzle solve thing is, except it is right here. And there is a button that I have yet to push. <coughs> and so I will push the button and do things, and that does something else in, t in an entirely different room. And it's pretty great. I think I'm gonna need some water after this episode, you know? Because, like, my throat is kind of dry and stuff, and doing the wow cow thing is kind of, like, bothering my throat a bit. And, you know, the last thing I want is to lose my voice in the middle of a Let's Play thing, and what do you know, there's a pedestal here that we never picked up. And so I put my weight on it, and thank goodness it does not go away when I get kicked out of the room by Exploding Pig. It's like, do you have opinions, Mr. Exploding Pig? Do you not want me to get that Aunt Jewel? And it's a thing, you know? It's a thing to the thing and the other thing. And TV Trust just kind of had a heart attack. Anyway, now we have our Ankh. I think it might be a good place to end off the episode here. But first, I want to just, you know, beat that boss. And it's like... And I cannot sing! And things. Anyway, we do this. And then we want to, like... Do stuff. And whoa! What is that? It was a giant two-headed snake thing. It's like a role-playing thing I did once, where a character turned into that, and it was pretty crazy, and I didn't kill it. Actually, wait, I did kill it, I don't know. Anyway, we want to, like, throw shurikens at the snake thing to kill it, and it's, like, the easiest boss in the game, because all you gotta do is kill it. You know? Hey, it's a fairy thing! It's a little space fairy, fairy thing, and it totally turned into an eye of ride. And that is all for this episode, folks. See you guys later.